But right now, rev up that engine as we go to the ILH for this week's Ford Built Tough matchup. Oh, and the F-150 taking the Camp Smith Halava exit to Aloha Stadium as the defending state champs of St. Louis will collide with number five Kamehameha. Now, Crusaders cruising in life after Tua Tongo Vailoa as heir apparent Chevin Cordero has led the STL to a pair of TKOs, having outscored opponents 110 to 7 thus far. As for the kids from Kapalama, they've been running rampant behind running back Kanoa Shannon. 284 yards and three touchdowns in three games. Tomorrow night, one team is McGregor and the other is Mayweather. Who's the money team keeping their perfect record intact? Uh, pretty excited. You know, it's just been on our minds lately. Entering the ILH and um, it's a good test for us. See how we are as a team and, you know, come out and just do what we do. You know, we're taking this game like any other game. You know, just executing. I need to execute what we have and, you know, hopefully just execute them against a great team. We're very excited. We've been working hard. We had like two weeks of bye and we're excited to play. When ILH versus ILH, is, there's a lot of fire. Like, we're all, we're all competitive and it's a good game. It's a great game every time. Yeah, just watching the games, I just want to get on the field again. All of my teammates just want to go on the field and perform already. According to the historians, the Hawaii Prep World rivalry game has been one-sided as of late as St. Louis has won six straight all-time Crusaders are king in the series, having won 64 of 92 since 1973. All right, Coach, we talked the offense with these two teams, but defense loaded on both sides. We start with the Crusaders. Safety Isaiah Tufunga invited to the Polynesian Bowl earlier today, and for good reason, because this kid's got some major talent. Yeah, there's no question. When you talk about Isaiah Tufunga, that's the son of defensive back coach Wes Tufunga, who was a stud himself. And he has six D1 offers, Rob, from Vanderbilt, Oregon State, Hawaii, UNLV, Fresno. And as you mentioned, invited to play in the Polynesian Bowl. His athleticism, he's played free safety. He goes to the ball when it's in the air. Strong safety, as tough as anybody in the box. And when you talk about football not being a contact sport, it's a collision sport. <laughs> and this guy likes to collide with people. One of the best hitters in all of high, high school prep football I've seen in at least the last decade. I love this kid. He is so physical. Now, as for Kamehameha, they've got a Polynesian Bowl invite as well. Breaking news, folks. Defensive lineman Jonah Kahahavai Welch earned his spot on the All-Star Game roster this evening. So congratulations to him. How much of a difference can he make in tomorrow night's game? Huge difference maker because he gets to the quarterback. He has a great motor. He's a technician. He's explosive. He can rush the passer and drop into coverage. And an incredible student. When you talk about Ivy League acceptance, you talk about uh, service academies offered, and then you go Vanderbilt, UH. I mean, he'll get some Pac-12 offers because I see him growing and continue to grow into that body. But this is the kind of guy the Polynesian Bowl loves to select because we need to make sure that he gets the right exposure because he's a heck of a kid and a great student. Number 41 future leader both on and off the field. All right, Warriors and Crusaders kick off tomorrow night set for 7.30 at Aloha Stadium. That's following St. Francis and Pac-5, which starts at 4.45. Bows are there Saturday. Ooh, what a weekend in Halava.